Hey, what's going on everybody? We've got some bling in the house and we're going to have some fun refining it. All right, we're back. This is graphite, not silver nitrate. Just in case you're wondering. So, got everything incinerated, nice and cleaned up. There's only one piece uh, that I couldn't get the stuff off and it's this. And I'm not sure if that's epoxy in there or what it is, but it is a major pain in the rear. So we're uh, we're gonna see how it reacts to nitrate. Hopefully uh, the metal just dissolves and we can filter the chunks out. All right. So for our starting measurements. We got 138 grams of sterling. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put 100 mils of nitric right off the bat for the first reaction. I really need to invest into some low, uh, tall form beakers. Bring our level up a little bit more, we can fit more, uh, more material in the liquid, and then more room for boil overs. I think it would be excellent. It's on the list. And then we'll go up to 400 milliliters of distilled water. We'll put our material in. That's actually not too bad. Not too bad at all. We gotta put this on some heat too, but uh, I don't think we're going to get an initial reaction. Still a little cold and it's a little dilute. But I know we're going to have to add some more nitric in here. But we can do that when this reaction oh, is ready to roll. All right, let's let it do its thing. Should be uh, pretty straightforward. I probably just jinxed it. That epoxy is gonna go crazy now. <laughs> well, we'll see here in a minute. This reaction is done. Let's take a peek at this. Oh, we got quite a bit. There's a lot of that fun left. <laughs> All right, well, we can see we've got tons of uh, material left. I probably uh, should have turned that into shot, but ah, I was having fun with it. <laughs> oh man, that's going to be the pun of the video. All right, well, we've got uh, 300 mils, so we lost about 100 mils uh, due to evaporation. Let's go ahead and top it back off to 400. See if we can cool that solution down a little bit before we put some nitric in there. Add a little nitric. See how this reaction is going to take off. Nothing crazy. I think we're still okay. Can't see like that for you. That looks like we got about an extra fifty in there. Uh, we're gonna go close to. A, uh, we'll do another hundred. I think we're cooking with fire now. Alright, we've got good reaction going on again. I'm just going to stand here and watch this for a minute just to verify we don't see anything take off. Keep my glove on and the trusty squirt bottle just in case. 
but it sh it, it, we should be okay. It, it's pretty well diluted at this point. Yeah, I think we're good. Alrighty. Well, let's see what that does. Round two. Alright, looks like round two is just about done. Probably close enough to add a little top up in there. Let's see where we're at. Man, do I miss these days. Let's see what we got left. I'm just going to rinse the top off quick. Woo! I'd say we are getting down there. Just a little bit left. And it looks like we've got plenty of reaction going. That's probably why we've got very little fumes being created. Um, I think we're just going to leave that. We'll see what happens. Maybe a little bit more. Most of that's going to be that epoxy, right? So in reality, we just have a couple of little, couple little chunks left. Perfect. together all right so we have a little bit of nitric fumes going on in there but I don't think we have anything left I think I just see the epoxy so we might have overshot a little bit especially we can see how it clears up right away all right let's take a peek here Oh no, the fun is gone. <laughs> and that stuff uh that stuff looks pretty light. So we'll get a better uh we'll get a better shot at it here. Uh... Hold on, hold on. I think we got some silver. I see reaction. So we can definitely see the green, especially held up like this. So like over by my pinky here and here, we got a little silver left. So let's let it eat the rest of that up. I can't imagine it'll take too much longer. Hopefully we've got just the right amount of nitric in there for us to drive the rest of that silver in solution. And I've already got the flask nice and prepped, so we'll be ready to rock and roll as soon as we get that silver ready. All right, and there we have it. Everything is uh, dissolved. Nothing hanging out at the bottom anymore. We had uh, zero fumes coming out, so I think we're in the clear in that department. So it is time. Start filtering this bad boy out. Let's get you situated here a little bit. Let's move the top so that doesn't break. Get that a little closer. All right, we're gonna dilute this a little bit so it goes a little faster. Um, also, it'll cool it down. So we're not gonna eat up our uh, filter. And let's see here. Get you a close up of it coming out of the filter. So the beaker is uh, easily handable or hand, yeah, easily touchable. There we go, that's what I'm looking for. So that uh, we definitely brought the temperature down. Here is the filter shot. Get that to zoom in a little bit for you. 
there we go so as you can see dang you're right in the center there we've got two very small pieces of silver left so we might not have any leftover nitric because like I said we didn't have any fumes there might be another one right up there but yeah there we go the epoxy stayed in uh, in shape for the most part uh, cracked up but that could have easily have happened when I uh, was incinerating Well, while this is doing its thing, we'll take a look at it tomorrow. We've got uh, a decent amount of distilled water. We've got it uh, diluted enough. We can see the silver rolling off of our copper quite nicely. So we know it won't passivate. I think we're going to have a good chunk of silver here tomorrow. All right. Whoo wee Now that is some silver. Right, what do you guys think? A couple rinses on this before we uh, dehydrate it. See if we get some of that copper off of there. That feels pretty heavy. Well, we got it rinsed off. Um, we still had a hint of blue, so there's still going to be a little copper in there. There's no problem with that. Um, if you weren't going to run it through a cell, I'd definitely clean it up more before melting. Um, even a couple of hydrochloric baths would really, really take care of that. But I just melt mine into shot, and uh, as I'm sure most of you are aware, and we feed the cell. And of course, there's going to be a little bit of silver in the bottom of this, just because we didn't let it settle after each time. So before uh, dumping this into the stock pot, I'll let it settle out. Dump as much. Uh, we'll dump as much liquid out as possible. Collect the the remains, and uh, go from there. And it's a little easier to fish it out of here. Nice clear beaker um, than it is out of the stock pot. So. We'll get this later. So one thing too to keep in mind, uh, I've I found a, I've come across this a couple of different times, is that with all the extra, especially now that I'm kind of getting into bigger batches of silver, um, when you go to evaporate it, and you've got a nice layer on the bottom, it contains the heat really well. So you don't want to use your normal um, heat temperatures at least with smaller batches because this will start to the basically the pressure will keep the water that collects inside because it's impossible to get everything out right all of the water while we're kind of drying it off like that it's the purpose of uh, evaporating it so we can get every speck of water or uh, solution out of there right but what happens is if you have this too hot is one you cook the whole bottom and it makes it a really big pain in the rear to get it off but two you can actually get little steam explosions in there and then your silver is up and everywhere so um i still am in the processing or the uh experimenting stages of temperatures i should evaporate this at before we get into uh you know steam explosions so i'm gonna go ahead and put the top on there yeah it, it it does make it go or take a little longer to to fully do what I want 
by evaporating because it'll collect on the top and then condense back, you know, and condense and then drop back down in there. But if I do have a little bit of an steam explosion in there, it's contained. And we just worked really hard to get this silver. We want to keep as much as we can, right? So keep it lit it up. And I do keep the vent a little wider, but ah, it still condenses, so. <laughs> All right, we're done evaporating here. No more uh, moisture on the side of the beaker, and the stuff that is on the side just kind of peels right off of there, no problem. So we're good to go. Let's get a weight on this bad boy. All right, well, we've got 130 grams of cement silver. Not too shabby. What is going on, everybody? Man, I tell you, I had a whole lot of fun refining that. Sorry, the last, the last fun pun <laughs> of the video. All right, there it goes. Maybe one more. I might sneak one more, and I'm not sure yet. We'll, we'll figure that out. <laughs> Anyways, what... A good refining went nice and smooth the epoxy stayed there I was kind of worried about that a little bit but uh, nothing we couldn't handle right uh, I mean what's the worst case scenario it dissolves and we just have to filter it out so eh, I think it was the best case scenario out of that now definitely could have uh, incinerated that outside way better um, to get the rest of that out but I, you know, I, I can't say if that would have been any better or not because then you're dealing with a whole bunch of uh, ash and, and it may have been harder to filter. I mean, you saw how clear that was the first go around. So I don't know. I, I, it's tough to say. Tough to say. And if I had that crystal ball, I could tell you I wouldn't be doing what I'm doing right now. Well, I would be doing this, but <laughs> full time, right? Oh, man. So... I hope you guys have a great weekend. Have a fun weekend. There it is. Sorry I had to do it. <laughs> I'll see you in the next one.